And with the month coming to an end, here's a couple of Blender add-ons that you probably miss. Most of these add-ons are super awesome to work with and some of them do have coupon codes. And for those who would like to take a look at all of these, then links to this is going to be in the description so do well to check it out. And with that said, let's dive right into it. Joe Swarm is an amazing blender add-on that allows you to create swarms of different insects and creatures. Currently, they're doing a 25% launch offer for those who like to get this. And with this add-on, you can do some amazing stuff within your scene, as this features attraction, avoidance, endless swarms, follow curves, barriers, behavior presets, parameters to work with, and you can also control how you like your creatures to fly, swim, or crawl. And depending on what you like to create, you also have some flexibility spawning features, which actually makes this super cool to work with. So if you've been thinking about creating a swarm of rodents, flying insects, or crawling creatures, then the Joe Swarm is definitely one that you should consider checking out. And for those who are into particle simulation and you like to work with these with geometry nodes, then this is an amazing one that you should consider checking out. Particle Plus from Procedural Generation is now here, as this simply allows you to generate dynamic particles directly in Blender, offering you a couple of features that can allow you to create and simulate particles in more ways than one. And the setup for this is super easy, allowing you to create some advanced simulation alongside geometry nodes with ease. More so, the folks at Procedural Generation have also made the Medieval Procedural Generators pack. So if you're into medieval stuff and you like to create some medieval scenes or environment then you can simply take advantage of this four unique medieval asset bundle and get going with it this simply allows you create medieval walls scenes maze and also stairs super easily as you can even convert objects that you've already had in blender into some medieval runes giving you options of creating things as easy as you want while relying on the geometry nodes alongside some of the beautiful setup that the folks at Procedural Generation has put together. Additionally, if you're into Procedural Sci-Fi Panel Generation, then of course you might also want to consider checking out the Procedural Sci-Fi Generation tool, which is also super geometry node based, as you can select any object within your scene, model them how you want, and convert them to sci-fi panels. This is extremely useful for those who are into environment art or you just want to create some amazing sci-fi piece with some form of cable simulation that you can throw into your scene. And of course, if you like to work procedurally, then you can go over to procedural generation and take a look at the plethora of procedural generation tools that they have on their storefront. And we all know how interesting colors play a role when rendering your scene, as this contributes to a part of storytelling while influencing the mood. And to breathe life into your scene, Altab have just created the Altab Colorful. The idea behind this add-on is for you to work easily with colors directly in Blender. This has been crafted with a user-friendly interface as it streamlines the often tedious process of color selection and application, allowing you to focus on what matters, which is creating the amazing piece that you want. With full sync integration from the folks at Colors and Color Hunt, you can now organize your colors and work with them however you choose. If you're into creating your own personalized preset, you can arrange your colors in more ways than one and build the color scheme of choice that you would like to work with. It's also worth mentioning that there's a built-in color scheme which takes the burden of creating your own color presets away and allow you focus on creating your objects exactly how you want them. So if you're into colors or probably you struggle with colors and you're looking for a color tool that you can use, then the Altap Colorful is currently available right now and would make your next blender seem quite colorful. And if you're into lighting, then you might want to consider taking a look at the Light Wrangler, which is a cost targeted based lighting tool from Altman. The idea behind this tool is to allow you to wrangle your lights super easily by simply using cost targeted positioning. This offers a few set of features that includes real-time positioning of your light, instant real-time adjustment of the light depending on how much brightness you want within your light. There's also a smart automatic brightness tool that allows for a consistent illumination, saving you manual time of recalibrating your scenes and dealing with all of that hassle. More so, there's a subtle light feathering option which also gives that feathering effect of natural light diffusion. And for those who are thinking about precise control over the positions that they will like, there's a flexible automatic and a manual mode of positioning lights within your scene. So if you're into light and you've been thinking about a light wrangler, then the cost targeted lighting tool from Altman is the light for you. Clutterpoly has just recently released a couple of cool add-ons which includes the H2O water droplet simulation. This is a very cool tool that allows you to simulate water on any surface. So depending on what you want, you can definitely use this 
and is pretty impressive what you can create with it. Cleverpoly has made and also announced an advanced 3D product animation course. So if you're on the journey of creating product animations and probably you've been wondering how you can get started with this, then you might want to consider checking this out. The idea is to get you excited and also teach you all of the bells and whistles that are required in creating some very advanced looking 3D product animations. So if this is something that you're into, then you might want to take a look at the course and see all of the cool stuff that you can get out of it. And finally, from Cleverpoly, there is Textify. So the idea behind Textify is to generate callouts and title animation. So if this is also something that you've been wondering, how you can generate or create in Blender, then this is also available right now and you can totally get all of them from his Gumroad. And if you're into fluid simulation, then you might want to consider looking at the Cell Fluid, which is a geometry node powered fluid simulation tool that exists in Blender. This simulation gives you some sort of 2.5D simulation, which is pretty interesting, offering you some beautiful features which include some fast interactive semi real time fluid simulation, works with both EV and cycles, offers a lightweight and of course non resource intensive simulation, and the fluid that you get out of this is quite realistic. So if you're looking for something that's pretty lightweight, save you a couple of resources while working with simulations directly in Blender, and you need something that is quite procedural that you can control at any point in time, then you might want to consider taking a look at the cell fluid from Specula. More so, Specula has also created a couple of other things that includes the real-time fire, the real-time river generator, the camera space particles, and also the light ray generator. So if any of this interests you, then you might want to consider looking at them. And our honorable mentions for this week includes the Mist Tire Shader. So if you're into procedural tire creation, then this is a lovely one. This procedural tire shader just simply gives you that ease of setting up your tire quickly. So depending on the kind of tires that you're trying to make, this offers a solution to your tire shading. And with the recent update, with one single click, you can now swap brands and also control how the lettering on the tire can be positioned. And this of course requires no UV as you can definitely go to town with it and create some amazing tires for yourself. Anyway, B3D has just recently announced the Trail FX add-on. This is a beautiful add-on for those thinking about creating trails within their scene. This add-on just simply offers a few set of cool trails that you can work with and for the most part, if you've been wondering about creating some trail effect, there are some particle effects that you can use to get this going. Interestingly, this also has a couple of color combinations which you can tweak and play with, and the fact that you can work with this directly within your scene with all of that parameters that exist simply makes this quite customizable and super easy to work with. So just in case you're in the market looking for a trail tool that can allow you customize it and get the most out of it, then you can simply check this one out and get on with it. And of course, if you're into low poly and you're looking for city assets, then you have access to this. Miat Studio has single-handedly crafted out 300 plus objects which you can use to kitbash any city of choice. And with version 2, this now includes some bug fixes, 23 extra assets have been added to this, and all objects have now been unwrapped in Blender with overlapping. And all objects as well has been materialized with one texture and the number of polys that you get on a single geometry are no more than 8k. More so, the whole library has been optimized. So if you're looking at creating cities and you're looking for a low poly set of tools that you can use to do a quick and easy kit bashing, then of course you can check out me at studio and grab the low poly city asset library kit bash. So this is it. For those who would like to take a look at this alongside some extra add-on, then all of that is going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.